Like shown within the student samples on our ePortfolio website, many of you developed an elementary ePortfolio you are proud of. You've learned how to showcase your work and reflect on your learning. As you transition to middle school, you'll want to really start thinking about how you'll utilize your ePortfolio. As you move to middle school, you probably fall into one of three camps. One, you might be very proud of your elementary ePortfolio, and this is where we hope that you are. Several options if you're really proud of your work as you kind of redefine your focus for middle school would be to one, link in your elementary ePortfolio. So this could look um, several different ways. So once you have your middle school site, um, you could go ahead and add an elementary page and we'll show you how to do that. And then just link in your grade levels under elementary. There are several ways you can link in your elementary ePortfolio. The first, you could create a page that's titled elementary or um, you know, whatever you decide to call it there. Then you're gonna take any of your grade level pages and you're gonna move those grade level pages um, until they're underneath elementary. So it kind of creates a sub page there. So if this was an elementary page, you just move it until there's a big blue square and it will put it underneath here. And then lastly, you'll probably wanna move elementary to be the last page so that your um, middle school pages are gonna show up first. And this is kind of a reference for your elementary site. middle school also means this is a great time to reconsider your theme, design, and overall aesthetics and look of your site. You can see that this site is um, really professional looking, but there's not a whole lot to take away from the content. So, um, you know, in middle school, you might, or in elementary, you might choose images that um, go along with some of your hobbies or things that you like, but they could possibly be distracting from your content. So you want to kind of focus on a theme that, yes, echoes your personality, but is also very professional and doesn't distract from the content of your site. elementary, you might have chosen um, images of animals or um, different, you know, cartoon characters or things like that. And we really highly encourage you to look at your site and try to go with something that's professional, but also fun. You can see this example is very colorful, but it's also very universal and the whole site kind of has a theme and a color scheme. Um, so it is very professional. You can change the built in Google site theme by clicking on the themes tab of your ePortfolio. Notice here you can choose the theme, the color, and the font that's going to be uniform among your entire site. But remember, this isn't the only way you can personalize your site. You can also change the image of your header, and by uploading an image, you can actually create a custom header. You can also link in buttons and change the different colors of your section backgrounds by choosing a emphasis color or adding your own image to create a custom color here as well. On the ePortfolio website, under Getting Started and Design an ePortfolio, there are some really great resources for personalizing your Google site, creating buttons, um, and even using outside sources such as Canva or Adobe Spark to take design and personalization a little bit deeper.